What is art? Art has not always been what we think it is today. An object regarded as art today may not have been perceived as such when it was first made, nor was the person who made it necessarily regarded as an artist. Both the notion of art and the idea of an artist are relatively modern terms. Many of the objects we identify as art today, Greek painted pottery, medieval manuscript illuminations, beautiful jewelry, were made in times and places when people had no concept of art as we understand the term. These objects may have been appreciated in various ways and often admired, but were considered more useful than artistic. You may think paintings like the Mona Lisa are the only kind of art, but in this lesson, we're going to open our minds to what can be considered art. If you've ever traveled to another country where English is not spoken, you're using visual symbols and pictures of items as a way to know what things are and where to go. Art is even used as a form of visual communication when NASA sends spacecraft into orbit. It often has put visual images on the outside showing where the Earth is in our solar system and what humans look like and other characteristics of Earth in case the ship is intercepted by an extraterrestrial life form. Art transcends languages as a form of communication. Above all else, art is a form of visual communication. What is the function of art in society? Art has more purposes than just looking beautiful or matching the interior of your house. All art falls into five functions in society, regardless of medium or time period. One of the functions of art is that the artist is creating it for personal reasons. The artist is creating the artwork to tell their personal stories. In the same way that a musician may create a love song about the person they're dating, an artist may create a painting or a sculpture about another person, a feeling they're having, or a story about their lives. In this painting, The Scream, we see this person going through a moment of great confusion or terror. And this image by Kathy Colwitz shows a mother holding her dead child. Art can also serve as a social function. At Asian New Year's festivals in China and Japan, large dragons are often made as part of the ceremony. These are artworks, but their purpose is to be part of the social event and make people feel part of a group. In African tribes, it is traditional to create large, ornate masks out of wood, metal, and grasses to symbolize certain roles in the tribe. Architecture is a form of art, and many artworks have been created for a spiritual or religious function. During medieval times, the church was one of the biggest patrons of the art. Physical functions of art refer to artworks that serve a useful purpose. In modern times, a car design or tennis shoe line are examples of artwork that serve a particular function, but we purchase them for how they look and how it aligns to our aesthetic. In these examples, we see a Greek urn that was used to carry water Mexican baskets that held food and decorative items, and a Turkish rug that was hand-woven 
and designed by an artist. Educational functions of art. When you look at these images, you're probably thinking that they're more spiritual in nature than educational because the stained glass window is in a church and a monk is writing in a book. In ancient times, most people could not read, so rulers and religious leaders commissioned artists to create artwork. This would show the rules of the religion or the kingdom. Illuminated manuscripts were also prevalent for those that could read, and the writers would create images next to the words in order to increase understanding for the story told. In these cases, the art was an educational function. Artists are inspired by many things. They create art about the world in which they live, from artists of the past, from ideas by employers, nature, spiritual and religious beliefs, creative techniques, myths and legends. The parts of a work of art. All artwork contains subject matter. This is the image viewers can easily identify in a work of art. The composition, which is the way the principles of art are used to organize the elements of art. And the content. This is the message the work communicates. The elements of art are the basic visual symbols used in an artwork. It's easiest to think of them as the nouns, verbs, and adjectives of an artwork. Just like grammar, how you arrange these building blocks is whether you create a sentence or a paragraph, or in our case, a painting or a sculpture. The elements of art are line, shape, form, space, color, value, and texture. We'll go more into this in another lesson. The principles of design are how the elements of art are arranged. By using pattern in a weaving, you can create a geometric rug. Learning how to use the principles to arrange the elements is one of the practices that artists undertake. In this class, you'll be creating painting, drawings, sculptures, and ceramic objects, and in all of these artworks, you will use the principles to arrange the elements of art into successful, finished artworks. Art falls into three major aesthetic theories. You'll learn more about aesthetics and the study of art and beauty in a later lesson. As an introduction to aesthetic theories, I like to think of the theories as teams and each team has only one kind of art that it thinks is successful or the winner. Team one, emotionalism. People on this team think an artwork is successful if it tells a story or shows an emotion. This painting is Crows Over the Cornfield by Van Gogh. Some say that it's the last painting he created before he died and the crows symbolize his death coming to him. Hmm. Next team, imitationalism. People on this team think art must imitate nature, also known as realism. If it looks exactly like the real thing, then it's successful. And in this painting, it's a painting of a woman, and it looks like a woman. Team three, formalism. 
This team thinks that art should only focus on the elements of art and the principles of design. Most abstract or non-representational art would be considered most successful in this realm. There's also a fourth team that feels that art must serve a function in society. An example would be a pair of sneakers that are designed or a cup that was created by an artist to drink your coffee in each morning. And there we have it, our beginning of the study of what art is. Thank you for watching.